What's up guys and welcome back to Animal Crossing. Today is a huge day for our community. We've got a couple of major additions. So Timmy and Tommy have opened up their new shop as well as the official grand opening of the finished museum. So uh, we're gonna have to check that stuff out. We've got a lot to do today. But first I do wanna show you guys what we got up to off screen. So you guys know how last episode we went to a couple of islands in search of new materials and stuff like that, fishing, whatever else, trying to find new species to be able to turn into the museum, that sort of thing. Well, I continued on with that and I visited two more islands off screen. Now, the first one was another one where everything was pretty much the same. The second one was actually Bamboo Island. So it was a big flat island and it just had a ton of bamboo all over it. So we chopped down some bamboo. I've got quite a few bamboo pieces here as well as these young spring bamboo pieces. And there were, I think, four or five bamboo kind of like little pods that we were able to dig up with our shovel that are basically gonna grow more bamboo. Now, you guys can see I placed them along here. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be like trees where they need one space on each side. So I think we're gonna have to dig these back up and relocate them, but we'll do that later. Uh, you guys can see we are starting to grow some flowers over here. From what I know, I think if you have more flowers and plants and stuff like that, you're gonna get more bugs. It attracts bugs, obviously that's where they live. So I think I'm gonna turn this entire area into, uh, into kinda like a, a little garden. This right here is our money tree. We've got a few more days on this guy and he's gonna drop us 30,000 uh, bells, which is uh, pretty exciting to say the least. So anyway, let's head down here. I guess we can take a, let's go to the museum first. I'm kind of excited for the museum. <laughs> this thing looks insane. Look at those huge double doors. We've got a little owl icon up above it. Our boy blathers and uh, let's, whoa. Hold on a second. Okay, so it looks like we've got three sections. We've got butterflies, we've got fossils, and we've got fish over on the right. What's up top? Looks like this is just kind of a hangout area. All right, let's go check out our bugs. Go see what he's got set up for us. Is this actually gonna like look nice and have a nice dis- Whoa, what? Dude, this is pretty cool. We've got little signs. All right. I, I see you, Blathers. You you really outdid yourself here, bro. There's whole other rooms and stuff down here. Oh, it's the butterfly garden. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> this is insane. Got some moths in here. Looks like we've got other little bugs and setups. Dude, honestly, I could I could get lost in here. This is this is really crazy. This is pretty cool though. I like that they they actually gave it like some some life to it. You know what I mean? It's not just a room with a bunch of little boxes and stuff. This actually feels like a little little museum. Or honestly a, a big museum. I don't wanna don't wanna sell it short. So anyway, we've looked at this. I say you guys wanna go. Let's let's check out all three of the things. I mean we just gotta take a look at it. I'm not gonna spend too much time in here. We have a boatload of things to donate. I want to go down to the fossils. This is probably going to be pretty cool. So we're going down, kind of like we're going down to a dig site or something like that. Whoa. We've got the different time periods and stuff. Bro, are you kidding me right now? We've got the midsection of this dinosaur, but we're missing the head and the tail. This is insane. So obviously our goal with time is going to be to, uh, to kind of fill this thing out. We don't really have a lot at this point. Oh, that's actually a pretty good looking one. Last but not least, we're gonna have our aquarium section. So we've got a bunch of our fish hanging out together. Pretty beautiful, not gonna lie. I know, dude, you can catch sharks in this game if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. I almost chose Southern Hemisphere and I kinda wish I would have, but I feel like up here in the North, we're gonna get more seasons. So we'll just have to befriend somebody who chose South and go down there and fish off of their island. But um. Yeah, that's, that's the museum there, looking pretty good. Now, I'm about to blow you guys away with what we have. Ooh, 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 I beg your pardon. I'm a bit of a night owl, don't you know? Drowsy in the daytime. Ah, but more importantly, ooh, ooh, if it isn't Trevor. At long last, the Paradise Museum is open, this very day, no less. An impressive feat of engineering, craftsmanship, and good old island ingenuity, is it not? Of course, it was your very own donations that made it possible, so to you, I say thank you. Now allow me to give you a quick overview of our fine institution's floor plan. You'll find there are entrances to the left, right, and to the basement. Each one leads to exhibit rooms wherein the donations collected thus have been put on display. That's right, I have more good news to report. That is, the donation process has been streamlined. Henceforth, we will accept multiple donations all at once. 
Furthermore, if you wish to learn more about a fossil or fish, or a bug, I suppose, simply say, tell me about this. Hesitate not, I will happily oblige. Now, by all means, do please take a gander at a magnificent collection. It is surely a thing of wonder. I already looked at it, don't worry, bro. I've got, uh, I've got some stuff to donate. Here we go. This is, I, we're gonna have a couple of repeats in here. I couldn't remember on a few of them, but check this out, dude. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, and select all of these things. <laughs> and then we're gonna have him take a look at all of our fossils as well. And we're gonna put those down in there. That was a haul. And we still have more back at the house. Let's take a look, shall we? Splendid, we will gladly take these off your hands. No need to pull them all out. I'll hand the rest over from here. I'll handle the rest from here. And I see you're donating multiples of the same item. Thought we needed only one. You may keep the extra. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, please assess these fossils for me. What would you like me to assess? We're gonna do these five over here that we've found. Looks pretty good. More than one. Let's take a look. I mean, I, I don't really know what each one is, and I don't necessarily need to know what each one is. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, and donate all these. Archaeopteryx, Diplo chest, Diplo neck, Plesio tail, and a Packy tail. Nice. Got a few more creatures here. We've got a sea bass. I'm pretty sure we've given him one of those. I couldn't remember about the red snappers and stuff and the olive flounders. I mean, these are ones that we've seen a lot of, so I would imagine that we've probably given him one at some point, but maybe not. So we're gonna go back and check. We're gonna give him whatever we can, and then whatever extras we have, we are just gonna go ahead and uh, and sell to Timmy and Tommy, which is where we're gonna be heading next. Oh wow, look, we've got three of them that we haven't put in here yet. So these are gonna look nice in the aquarium, and uh, we'll take it, man. I don't really know, I mean, is this just kind of like a side mission here? I'm assuming we're probably gonna end up getting Nook Miles for continuing to donate to the museum. It gives us something to do. We could have sold all those things and made some bells, but we can make bells in other ways. So I don't know, there, there's gotta be rewards happening at some point. Let me check, looks like we already have some, some Nook Miles happening. Looks like uh, Fossil Assessment for getting him to assess them. Looking pretty good, 300 miles, miles out of that. Is there anything else here that we got? Reaction ruler. Okay. Oh, that's we got a new reaction option. We can like clap and wave and stuff like that. Uh, do we have anything else here for making all those donations? I'm not seeing anything yet. That's okay though. No, uh, no big deal. Now, thanks to your help, we've opened up this amazing new shop. Our shop is named in honor of a shop our beloved President Nook used to run. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. As you can see, we're offering ready-made furniture and items that can't be made as DIY projects. Also in the back cabinet with the tools and other miscellaneous goods, we have wallpaper and flooring. We hope to fulfill all of your shopping needs. Nice. So they've, they've got some new product and stuff that we're gonna be able to uh, to purchase from them now. Can we still sell? There's something else. With our new shop comes three new services. First, let's talk about turnips. Heard the turnip market is about to take off on the island. You'll probably see a turnip seller here soon. We'll buy any turnips you have on hand. The price is set in the morning and afternoon, so be sure to stop by. One note, we don't accept turnips on Sundays. That's the day the turnip seller visits the island. Second new service involves a hot item of the day. The hot item will change every day and bring in one to sell will give you double its normal price. You can check the hot item of the day in the sign in front of the shop or by asking us directly. And the last new service we're offering is called the drop-off box. You can find it in the front of the shop so we can just go ahead and, uh, and drop things off and get, get paid directly in our bank account. There is a handling fee though. Interesting. So we probably want to come in and talk to them for the most part if we can, as long as the shop's open. Um, let me see what's hot today. Let's find out. Bonfire. We pay twice the usual amount for hot items, so go ahead and bring them in. Is there anything else? Uh, I want to I wanna sell all of our excess inventory here. So if we go and just build a bunch of bonfires, are we going to be able to sell a bunch of them at double price to these guys and, and make a bunch of money? We're going to craft up a couple of, of bonfires and see what happens. So you got to craft a, a campfire with just sticks. You just need twigs from trees. So we're going to make that. And then to make a bonfire, you just need to add a little bit of wood. So I'm gonna say, let's make like five of these things I think would be good, and then we're gonna take them back to the shop. You know, I feel like this is, is good in more than one way, because not only are we making a little bit of money on the side, but we're also doing DIY projects. Obviously, using materials, doing those projects, that sort of thing is encouraged. We are Nook Miles for doing that. 
So it kind of gives us an excuse to uh, to build more stuff. And we always have excess materials anyway, at least right now. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But anyway, we've got five bonfires here. I'm going to go ahead and select all five. We're going to get paid double on these boys. Look at this fine selection. What are you going to give me? Take any high value hot items and done. I can buy these for a total of 12,000 bells. I mean, that's that's pretty solid. That took like 20 seconds of work. Did use a decent amount of wood, I'm not gonna lie, but um, it's 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 not bad. I'll take it. If we're ever hurting for money, that is definitely the, the play there. Looks like we got some Nook Miles for it. Yeah, see, look at this. We got Miles for completing DIY projects. We got Miles for, uh, for, for spending money or selling selling items so like I think doing that at least once a day every time we have something new I think we should should definitely check it out DIY furniture for building furniture there like this 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 is a good a good play for sure but uh, anyway we made a little bit of money there we've got a lot more money sitting in our bank account I think you guys might be surprised all the the you know exploring that we've been doing selling all the excess bulk items that sort of thing we're we're sitting pretty pretty in our bank account. I'm not gonna lie. Take a look at my bank account, baby. Let's hop in here. We're gonna take a look at our uh, take a look at our ABD, and uh, you guys are gonna see we currently have 62,000 bells in our pocket. We've got a savings balance of 126,000. So let me. I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna deposit the full amount here. We've got 188,000 bells to our name. Let's go to our loan payment. We are just going to uh, to pay the whole thing off. In full, you are paid back, Mr. Sir, Mr. Tom Nook. Off of our mortgage, baby, but guess what? He's probably gonna upgrade our house again and make us pay even more. We'll see what happens. Let's let's go talk to him. Got a feeling he's he's got something else for us. As always, I must offer my congratulations. You paid off your loan in full. I expected nothing less, of course. For occasions like these are cause for celebration. Hmm? Suppose they're also a good time to take stock and reflect. I'm sure your home is quite comfy in its current configuration, but what if it could be bigger? Oh, I assure you that it can indeed be bigger. A bigger home means more space for furniture and more storage too. And now that I have introduced some possibilities, I will leave it at that. Do please come see me if you'd like to hear more. 100% dude, we need more storage. We've been having a bit of a storage crisis, I'm not gonna lie. Let's, uh, let's talk about our home here. Well, hmm, for your home, I think I'd recommend making the room larger. Require taking out a loan of 198,000 bells. Dude, I mean, I could almost pay that off already. So happy for you, I'm gonna make sure construction begins right away. All right, this might be a good time to consider a new color for your roof. Do you think so? There are eight color options. Could you please select a roof color from this list? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna stick with purple, man. I'm a, I'm a purple type of guy. We're just gonna stay with purple. Looks, looks good to me. It's gonna be finished up by tomorrow. That's exciting. And honestly, we're gonna have enough money by tomorrow that we're just gonna be able to pay off that loan and get an even bigger one right away, right like that. Let's get a new house every day, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So, um, looking pretty good there. We've gotta think, I mean, what do we wanna do next? We definitely wanna go harvest all of our resources on the island, but I can just do that off camera. You guys don't wanna see me do that. We actually have a new, task from Tom so you guys know we invited those three people back to live on our island he actually wants us to basically set up their houses for them and have it move in ready so let's talk to him here I think we've got to select what should I do and he's gonna tell us about it oh so you're ready to help me prepare here's what I'm thinking we really should start by adding a bridge across a river somewhere with three homes to build I worry that we'll run out of space on land that is easily accessible a bridge will open things up a bit and make it easier to get to housing plots during construction so that's why I'd like you to start by crafting the parts for a bridge base get your DIY skills ready and then you'll want to decide on a prime location for the bridge too Okay. I mean, this is gonna be mighty convenient if we can actually get across the river without pole vaulting every time. Just since you're a recipe for a bridge construction kit, you can find it on your Nook phone. Once you've assembled your bridge construction kit, find a good spot for the bridge and then check in with me. It can be a little tricky to place a bridge, but we could talk if you have trouble or need some advice. Good luck. Ooh, man. Having to decide where everything goes is like exciting, but also gives me a little bit of anxiety because I'm like, what if I don't like where I put it? 
I think at a later date we might be able to change it up if we want, but obviously we want to get it right the first time. So here we go. We're going to go home. We're going to see what we're going to need for this bridge construction. We did just use a lot of wood on those bonfires, which maybe wasn't the best idea, but we should have quite a few more uh, in our reserves. So let me see a bridge construction kit. You need log stakes, clay, and stone. Crapped up these log stakes real quick. Are we gonna be able to do multiple bridges? Cause obviously our island is kind of split up into quite a few different, different rivers. I wanna get multiple bridges set up, but we've got that. And then we should be able to craft this, uh, this bridge construction kit. Oh, we need four log stakes. Ah, so we're gonna need 12 wood. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. That makes it a little more intense, but we still got plenty of wood. Bridge construction kit coming right up. Let's go ahead and craft it. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Good stuff. And uh, man, where are we gonna wanna put these people's houses? I mean, I would imagine, do we wanna try to create kind of like a neighborhood? Like one section of the island is strictly dedicated to houses and that's pretty much it. I feel, I feel like that's not a bad idea. Let me take a look at our map here. You know, the more I think about it, I think I'm actually gonna put them down in the bottom left. You know, we've already got Rockin' and Antonio there and it's just gonna keep everything all nicely close together. You know what I mean? Like that's gonna be our city section. We're gonna have the whole neighborhood. We're gonna have the visitor center, the, the main you know resident center, the, the museum, the shop, the airport, stuff like that. It's all gonna be in one area. So if we ever need anything from anyone, if we need to go talk to our neighbors, that sort of thing, we're gonna be able to have easy access and so we're gonna know where they're at. And then we can kind of leave the rest of the map untouched to develop things in the future. Also, I'm looking down there in the bottom right, that actually might be a better spot for our nursery for all of our trees instead of where it currently is on the little peninsula. So I think that's how we're gonna do it. I think that's my plan. We're gonna put them down in the, uh, the D section over there. So I think what we're gonna have to do is we are gonna have to pick up a bunch of trees. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to move those things out of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab some of our oranges. I think, I mean, we'll grab 20 oranges. I don't know how many we're gonna need, but we're gonna grab a bunch of these trees. Whichever trees are orange trees, we can start our nursery down on the bottom right side of the map. I'll show you guys. I know I'm saying right and left and it might be hard to follow. But we're basically gonna clear up this area over here and this is just gonna kind of be our, uh, it's gonna be our neighborhood. Just gonna munch on all of these oranges here. That's number seven. We've got three more to go. I've, you guys can see it's counting up at the top left. I don't think we've ever reached 10 out of 10. So we're about to reach it right now. I don't know if you get any sort of bonus. We might get some sort of a, a Nook Miles accomplishment or something. Maybe not. Nothing Nothing really happened there. All right, so I'm, uh, I'm literally, I think I'm just gonna pick up all of these trees. Let's just get everything out of the way. Eventually we can plant some back once we get these houses down on the ground. Uh, I, you don't wanna have just houses. You wanna have a little bit of nature. But um, we're just gonna get them out of the way so we don't have to worry about them at the moment. And uh, we'll, we'll get them back planted later. Last one right here. We burned through all 10 of our oranges and uh, we have a, a large plot all good to go. This is great. So now that that's out of the way, I mean, kind of think about what we want to do for our bridge. What's gonna be the most convenient for us if we, if we start to build our nursery over here on the right, maybe we want the bridge like over here so we can get to it easily. That might not be a bad idea right next to our house. This is a super selfish thing <laughs> that we're doing. Uh, let's, let's try it. All right, so I re reserve this spot for a log bridge. Let me imagine it. I want to see what it's going to look like. It better be pretty pretty. Not bad. We'll take it. Is it a good spot? I think so. There it is. All right. Bridge has been set up. It's going to have to go under construction, but um, at least we're going to have that accomplished here in the near future. Now we're going to go back to Tom Nook, and hopefully he's going to let us place down some of these homes in this new neighborhood that we uh, kind of planned out here. New subdivision. Ah, Trevor. Hello, hello. So, did you find a good place to deploy your bridge construction kit? I did, it's all good to go, baby. Splendid, excellent work, thank you. And then tomorrow we'll have a new bridge. It'll be even easier to get around the island. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to start on some homes. We can wait for bridge construction to finish if you want, or just ask me what should I do. Just give it us housing kits, all right. 
With the housing kits I just gave you, you'll be able to pick out th three plots for homes, that of course these homes will need furniture and such. Each housing kit comes with a list of the furniture required for its house, so be sure to read those lists. You can build everything DIY style, so let me just send you the recipes of what you'll need. Interesting. So we're going to have to build all the furniture too. So these guys are literally moving into fully furnished houses, not tents. Are you kidding me? I roughed it in a tent and these guys get a house right off the bat. I think that's all for me. Thanks for all your help. I love how we are the ones doing all the work and he's the one profiting from it. This is ridiculous. Whoa, we got the ladder. No way, dude. Let's go. We need wood, hardwood, and softwood to be able to make a ladder. And that ladder is going to enable us to get up to higher areas and be able to explore new parts of islands. That is pretty exciting. We're definitely gonna have to check that out probably in the next episode. We've got a lot to do here. You guys can see we've got chairs and beds and benches and swings and radio systems and my goodness, so many things that we're gonna have to build. But honestly, we have been grinding and hoarding our uh, our resources. So I think we should be able to build everything here. So I'm gonna head over to our new subdivision and we are going to, uh, we're just gonna start lining things up. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to see if we can get these lined up nicely all, all in a row, you know what I mean? So I don't wanna make it too close. I'm trying to stay in the middle of this building. I'm thinking like right here. Let's grab the plot one kit. Oh, this is a big freaking house, dude. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna imagine this thing here. What does he have, like a fenced in yard and stuff? I guess it's not really gonna show me. So we're just gonna set up the first one there. Not bad. That's one down. We've got a couple more to go, and then we're also gonna have to put in all the furniture. Got a, a plot for spot one. Our phone's ringing. Uh-oh. Hello? That you, Trevor? Yes, yes, this is Tom Nook. How goes your search for housing lands? Got some ideas. It's going well, buddy. Stupendous. I'm relieved to hear that everything is going according to plan. Be sure to check the box in front. We'll show the items required for that plot. Interior items should be placed in the box, while exterior items should be placed outside around the plot. Want to make it look nice and decorative now, hmm? Once you've set up the plots for all three homes and place required items, come report back to me. I'll be waiting in resident services. Thanks again for your help. Okay, so we're going to place down these three plots. We're going to make all that furniture and life is going to be great. There's plot number two. Let's get it, baby. We picked a spot and, uh, oh, uh -oh our phone's ringing again. Tom, look, leave me alone, bro. Trevor, it's me again. Sorry for the repeated calls. I forgot to tell you something important. You see, you'll need to get a wreath made from flowers. Plenty of flowers growing on the cliffs of the island, so tool up there if you need to. I've already sent you a recipe for a ladder. It's the ideal tool for when you need to scale those cliffs. Keep up the good work. Nice. Okay. So, just letting us know what we got. We've got that there, and then I'm thinking, I mean, are we going to be able to fit one, one more directly behind this? Let's see. Nice. All right. We've got a little neighborhood starting here. Looks pretty good to me. Luckily, we didn't place it on top of that fossil, so we're going to be able to grab this guy. And uh, all right, now we need to get to work on our recipes. So for, for construction number three, we need interior items, a wooden bed. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take pictures of these. There's no no way I'm going to remember it. So I think, I think we're just going to get all of this stuff all in our inventory all at once. And, uh, and then we're just going to bring it all back and submit it. So it's going to be great. The vicinity of the plot is going to be a log dining table, log bench, and wooden bucket. All right. Sounds good to me. Let's stop reading and let's go make these things. So this stuff takes way more than I was expecting. It's actually pretty intense. You guys can see making this, uh, this log dining table is going to take 15 hardwood, which, I mean... It's not the end of the world. We do have quite a bit in our reserves, but I am a little bit nervous. We might end up running out. We need a, uh, a bucket, a wooden bucket here. Would that be under tools, I'm imagining? I see some watering cans and stuff. Oh, here we go. Wooden bucket. Gonna make this. I mean, this one's not bad, but some of the other stuff, like the beds and the chairs, they're taking a lot of wood. And I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure that we're going to have enough, to be honest. So we'll, we'll see what happens. We're going to try to do our best, but we just made all of the furniture for the first house. Or technically, I think it's it's pot number three, but the first one we took a look at. And uh, we're, we're going to go complete that. I'm excited, man. It's going to be cool to have new people coming in town and just keep on expanding. Things are going pretty well so far, so we're going to go up to plot number three here, and we are going to go ahead and uh, we are going to... How do we... How do we submit stuff? I've got the interior items done. There we go. Submit items. Looks good to me. 
Go ahead and select these three things. Confirm it. I turned in three items. All the required interior items are ready for this home. And then what we're gonna do is we've got these items here. So we got a bench. I mean, I'm for right now. I don't. Without being able to see what the house looks like, it's kind of hard to envision how it should be. So I think I'm just gonna <laughs> just gonna kind of randomly set stuff up. We could put a little a little table over here, maybe. I mean, to be honest, this isn't that bad of a life. They're gonna have a little picnic table set up right next to the beach. I feel like I gave house number three a, uh, a pretty nice view. I kind of wish we would have put our house on the beach, but I also like being next to our lake. So we've got all that. Then our last item is gonna be a, uh, a wooden bucket. I don't really know how to make that look nice, but that house is, is down. All right, let's move on to house number one here. Numero uno. See what kind of interior items are looking for an orange wall mounted clock an orange end table and a pot a hay bed a swinging bench and a barrel All right sounds sounds good to me We're gonna be able to work with that and we might as well Let's just see what house number two has for us as well So let's check these interior items We're gonna want a wooden block stereo a wooden block table and a lily wreath Which we're gonna have to get some flowers for Ooh, an iron garden chair an iron garden table and a birdhouse for outside. I don't like the idea of getting rid of all of our iron, but I guess it's gonna have to be done. So I'm gonna go back. Hopefully we've got enough enough materials. It does seem like they've kind of spread it out. If it would have been all wood stuff for all three, I don't think we would have had enough, but we might have enough at this point. So let's give it a shot. Bro, the wall clock takes 10 oranges? <laughs> you people are crazy. Why why are we even doing this? I mean, we've, we've got 10 oranges. It's a good thing that we've been hanging on to all this stuff. Felt like I was a hoarder, but uh, man, you, 10 oranges into a clock, that is just, it doesn't make sense. The orange end table is gonna take 10 oranges as well. I mean, it's kind of cool furniture, I'm not gonna lie. We might have to go for some sort of a tropical fruit theme for our house. I kind of like those two things, but man, that just ran through our orange inventory. Well guys, we did it. We were able to, uh, to acquire literally everything that we need. So let's go ahead and uh, Submit the items for this first house right here. We're gonna throw in all three of these Looks good turned in three items and the interior is done now outside. I believe they wanted the um, What did they want? They wanted the the birdhouse and the the table and stuff like the, the Iron table so we're gonna put the table there we can go ahead and put the uh, the chair behind it. Push this up against the table. So we're going to have a nice little place to sit outside of the home. And then like I said, I think they wanted a uh, they wanted a birdhouse. Number two is done. Now we're going to move on to number one. See what we've got going on here. Go ahead and apply all of our uh, all of our interior items. We're going to have a swinging bench, which I'm kind of excited to see. Oh shoot, that's the hay bed. I want to see the swinging bench. See this thing. Ooh. See, that's kind of nice. Although I feel like I feel like we want to change the direction that that's looking so it looks at the beach. There we go. Alright, that's looking pretty nice. And then I guess a little hay bale we could put in front of the barrel. I don't know if these guys are horse people or, or what, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, and let's place down this hay bed. Push it on up and in. Kind of random, but we'll take it. Alright. That's everything, Mr. Tom. I'm gonna head back to our community center. We've done a pretty darn good job. Gonna have some people moving into the island, hopefully tomorrow. I guess we'll see what happens. Hopefully the bridge is gonna be done. We've got a lot of stuff happening, and I feel like we got a lot done today. Let's see what we've got going on. Hello, hello. How have things been going since we last spoke? Are you close to finishing the plots and furniture? It's all done, baby. Goodness, really? Thank you so much for all your hard work. That means the rest is up to me. We'll get started on home construction right away so we can welcome our new island residents. I vow to get this done quickly and get it done right. If all goes well, we could have some someone in a new home as soon as tomorrow. By the way, I plan on letting the island know about folks moving in during our island broadcast. However, once I know who will move into a certain home, I'll post the info on the sign for that plot. If you're curious, check the signs. And that's it, my friend. You have finished everything I've asked of you. What are we gonna get? Let me give you a token of my appreciation as promised. This is for you? Fencing! 
It's some fencing. You can surround your home to create your yard or surround some flowers to make a garden. Fencing should make it easier for you to create your yards or parks or other outdoor areas. I'm positive this will lead to some interesting new landscaping scenes here on Paradise. Thinking 50 pieces of simple wooden fencing should give you an excellent start. In the future, I'll offer DIY fencing recipes you can get by redeeming Nook Miles. Selection will change daily and will offer a variety of designs, so check the Nook Stop sometime. Couldn't have done this without you, Trevor, that's for certain. Nice. There's a rope fence here. There's also a vertical board fence. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. It's gonna cost us a thousand miles though. I don't I don't think I'm 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 not in need of some fencing yet. I mean I'm not I'm not upset with the fencing he already gave us. Uh, eventually we are gonna kinda upgrade our house and make it look nice, but for right now I think we wanna save our miles and use those to be able to explore. And, uh, and go off to far off land. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I feel like that was a very successful episode. We got a lot done. And um, now, I mean, I'm just going to sign off. I'm going to go through. We're going to do all of our resource grinding and stuff for the day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow where we should have a new house. We should be able to pay off that house and upgrade to a new house. And we should have some new neighbors and maybe even a new bridge. It's going to be exciting. I'll see you guys there. Peace out.